But here's how it seems to me. There was a certain businessman of great attainment. He's cut down by the grog. He runs the gamut of treatments in this country. And this would be in the year about 1932, when he was just about at the end of his tether. <coughs> so he went abroad and became a patient of Dr. Carl Jung. And as all of you know, Jung was one of the founding fathers of the art, I prefer that instead of science, of psychiatry. And Jung, Adler, Freud were the three founding fathers. But of these, only Jung seemed to think that man is something more than two dollars worth of chemicals, a bundle of instincts, and an uncertain intellect. So, our traveler had found a truly great human being. Great indeed, as events fell out. He placed himself under that dear man's tutelage for a whole year, becoming more and more confident that the hidden springs of this baleful compulsion to drink were being understood and removed and cast away. He began to feel more free. There was no drinking while he was under treatment. At the end of the year, he left Jung, and in one month he was tight. <coughs> and the bender was terrific. So, in infinite despair, he came back <coughs> to Carl Jung and said, Is there anything now for me? You were my course of last resort. And this great man said, Roland, I thought for a time after you first came that you might be one of those rare cases in which my art has been helpful. Otherwise, I should not have encouraged you to stay. <coughs> but alas, I'm obliged to conclude that you are not, and that there is nothing that I have to offer you. My art has failed you. I need not say that coming from a man of his eminence, this was a statement of beautiful humility. And the whole destiny of AA, you and me, and all of us, has since hung on that sentence. So then has it found that agony was added to despair, and he cried out, but is there nothing now? And this was the answer he got. Rowan, time out of mind, alcoholics have recovered. Here and there, now and then, through religious experiences, spiritual experiences, let us say, 
are very truly true conversions. A naughty word for us A's, we don't use it for obvious reasons. But, said the doctor, this benign lightning seldom strikes. And no one can say where or when it will. Or for the resuscitation of food. So I simply would advise you to place yourself in a religious atmosphere, remembering the hopelessness of your doing anything about it on your own remaining resources alone, and cooperating with your associates and casting yourself upon whatever God there may be. So Roland aligned himself with the Oxford groups of that time, a rather evangelical movement, rather aggressive, 